welcome and welcome back to the present how we're doing this beautiful sunday i hope you're all having a marvelous day thus far uh before we get into the zigzag close to my you news uh let's be kind enough to strike a like on the video please strike a like on the video subscribe yeah yes subscribe and make sure your notification bells are turned on most of you are not turning on your notification bell so you can't get notified when i drop videos or when i go live please 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 make sure those notification bell is turned on hmm? Just turn it on. Don't take you more than two seconds to turn on your notification bell. One more time, like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. So, according to reports from David, who drops the most credible news on Twitter as a journalist, my United working to finalize signing of Bologna striker Joshua Zexi. Personal terms plus agent commissions for 23 years in place. Club talks continue. My United exploring whether to activate 40 million euros release or agree separate price, but deal now close. You can see that the deal is closed for Manchester United to sign Joshua Zex. It's actually for me, uh, is an upgrade in my personal opinion to the hologram Hoyland that came in for I think 17 to 75 million pounds, million euros rather, from uh, from the Italian league last season. Now, to be fair to Hoyland, he's still young, he's a bit raw, but based on the hype coming from Italy, he's going good. I remember I said that time, the defenders are in Italy are not as good as the defenders in the EPL, are not as quicker, are not as robust. Now, there was a spell of the time he scored a few goals, and we thought he has actually discovered his form in the Premiership before we went back into the shell. Hoylon, the hologram, is a decent striker. I'm not saying he's a horrible striker, but Joshua Zexi for me, is an upgrade, is a ball carrying striker, is a facilitator, he can dribble and can carry the ball. Let's say Zexi is going through a dry spell, he's not scoring. Is see a crazy forward that can dribble, that can carry the ball, that can facilitate and bring in other players and midfielders within the team in comparison to Hoyland, who just enjoys backing up and backing up like a stripper. Like, it's not every time he's just running and using passion. See, you cannot overly compensate with your lack of efficiency with passion all the time. Some of us can see through the BS. Most my fans, take the sentiment away, take the fact that you are trying to defend him because of other fan bases will actually come for you. So, so you're trying to defend him at all costs. Tell, tell yourself the truth. He's a decent striker at best. He's not the kind of striker that will take my to the next level. He's not the kind of striker that will make people for a chance to take my. But in my personal opinion, I could be wrong. Maybe his first season, maybe the second season, he will do better than what he did last season. But, but based on what I've seen, I can say he's a young striker. So there's still room for him to develop. And some of you will say Harrington has needs to develop him. The team needs to pass to him. That excuse of passing to him, I find it uh, very ridiculous. We've all played football at a certain level, at the parks, uh, close to uh, to certain pitches near our areas. If you are that guy, even if it's a three aside, five aside, seven aside, people will pass to you. If they trust your ability, you don't even need coaching. It's a matter of instinct. If you are good enough, your teammates will pass to you. It's not about players not passing to him because they don't trust you to a certain level. This is not the Italian league where the defenders give you all the space. This is not the Italian league where the defenders are very slow. Let's see, he's going to adjust to the Premiership. But for what I saw last season, I'm judging it based on Hoyland, the hologram performance last season. Uh, I don't really trust him like that. But for Zexi, even though he has not played in the Premiership, he's coming from the Italian league too, but he's more of a flair player. He is more of a creative forward. Even though he still scores, he's not a player that can play with the team. He's a facilitator. He's a dribbler. He's a ball carrier. Holland's not a ball carrier. So he's just a speed star. Penalty box. Now, it's good that you have to have different variety of strikers to for different games. So, for me, Zexy, if this deal actually, because it's closed, actually materializes, he should be the first choice, in my opinion a bit older and is a bit more experienced even though unless if them, both of them are young players and young strikers but i still think zexy will fit in in the team but my fans let me know some of you would agree with my notion let me know in the comment section i just think uh this is a better deal for for Manchester united it's cheaper it's more efficient let's see if my you can close out this deal and let's see how hoyland the hologram plus zexy can take mine to the next level let me know in, in the comment section my fans what do you think 
is this an under underwhelming deal uh, in, in prospect, or do you think this is a very good deal? I would like to know your opinion on Joshua Zexi pending acquisition into Manchester United. So let's see. Uh, David has already reported it. Uh, like I already showed you guys, it's right here. My working to finalize the deal, and when David reports it, you can you can be rest assured is a very close deal. This is not far before fabricator. This is David honest him who knows his onions. He barely gets it wrong. So, guys, let me know what you think about Joshua Zegzi pending move to Manchester United. Like my personal opinion, good striker, not the greatest striker, but for my new level, my you are trying to build up and go back to your glory days. This kind of acquisitions are not bad acquisitions, in my personal opinion. It's a very, very good acquisition. And let's see what it can do for Manchester United. Like the video on your way out. Very, very important. Subscribe yet. Subscribe. And make sure you uh, you turn on your notification bell. Your notification bells are needed to be turned on. One more time. Like the video. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification Let me know your opinion on the pending and the close move of Joshua Zexi to Manchester United. Are you for it or you're against it? Let me know in the comment section. And I will see you guys. On the next one, bye for now.